There is an excellent documentary on Netflix called The Great Hack. It tells the story of a company called Cambridge Analytica that used data from Facebook, among other sources, to help clients such as Ted Cruz and Donald Trump win elections. One of the things that interested me the most was what I see as an ongoing issue that has not ended with their corporate demise. By using Facebook data along with other information sources, Cambridge Analytica was doing what I would call, essentially, hacking voters. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What Cambridge Analytica wasn't doing was polling voters to merely determine what issues were important to them or whether they approved of or liked certain candidates. No, what Cambridge Analytica was doing was creating elaborate, detailed personality profiles of targeted individual voters, the persuadables they called them, for the purpose of creating customized advertisements to manipulate these profiled, persuadable groups into voting the way Cambridge Analytica's clients wanted them to. Something like psychological propaganda, ads that said what Cambridge Analytica thought would trigger the emotions that would lead their profile targeted groups to vote the way they wanted them to. Making emotional appeals to voters for the purpose of advocating for policy or winning elections isn't new or problematic per se, but when divorced from logic and reason and generated purely to create the desired outcome, it becomes trickery, manipulation akin to propaganda. This is what I meant by hacking voters. Emotional manipulation powered by complex data sets and advanced personality modeling. That's what many voters were subject to thanks to Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica is gone, but the data, the tools, and the technology aren't. Remember, for Facebook and Google and the other vacuums of personal data, the user isn't the customer. The advertisers, including political advertisers, are. And the data is only getting more detailed, the tools more precise, and the technology more effective. How are we supposed to determine the candidates that best represent us or the policy with the most merit when we are constantly under psychological assault? Click on one of the slides to continue watching 10 Minutes for Democracy. Thank you.